me something he will never tell me now How can you tell you when he loves you when I'm bumping like your daddy? Got my truck back from the shop yesterday. They got, uh, they finally took the screws out of the back of the cab because it was, of course, uh, tearing uh, the sheet metal, which that wasn't any good. I'm not trying to destroy my truck. I mean, you got some people that like to just, I mean, I've seen some of the videos where people's sheet metal is just torn the sides of the door. I mean, yeah, it's kind of cold, man, but I mean, tearing up your shit, man. I don't know. I guess I guess they must have plenty of money, and I don't know. But it's, it's kind of cool seeing the flex and stuff. But when it gets to tearing stuff up, man, me personally, I, I really ain't really about that shit, man. I ain't really trying to tear this truck up. Like I said, it has a uh, has sentimental value to me, so you know, I just kind of kind of want to try to keep it as long as I can. I mean, hell, it's got uh, what? Where are we at? What was it? Oh, I guess you can see that. What? Three hundred and twenty-six thousand miles. Uh, original motor and transmission in this truck. Um, like I said, this is my stepdad's truck. So even if the motor blows up, I'll just, I'm not gonna get rid of the truck, dude. It just, just means too much to me. So I'll just drop another. Uh, I'll drop another six liter in here. It's no big deal. Got a good mechanic. That's a personal friend of mine. And does work for way below shop prices so um so yeah i'll show you what they did <clears throat> they put in uh they wound up doing brackets which they tried to tell me they tried to, <laughs> they said uh, the one owner said he talked to the one guy and said that they had talked to me about doing the brackets and like i told him i i would if someone had mentioned to me something about brackets i would have told him to go with the brackets but i just assumed that you know that they were going to take care of it and do the best job possible so um yeah hold on a second so if you can see it they put brackets there and there's bracket right in right in there on both sides which which is kind of good um I'm still going to have to somehow address this issue. Of course, you see where, where it's torn through the sheet metal. They didn't fix that part, but it's whatever, man. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be just a straight-up douche or whatever. People make mistakes. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get it fixed. i put some bed loader or something on there to kind of straight strengthen it um i think now with with the screws out there shouldn't be nothing no force there to continue to rip the to continue to rip the sheet metal but i mean it still flexes pretty good so like i said we'll, we'll see um oh, let's see
stuff's getting down. Uh, I talked to uh, I talked to Dave Lee. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might know him. Um, some of you guys might not know who he is. Um, he builds custom subwoofers, so probably some of the best on the market. Um, this is what I'm gonna wind up doing next year. I'm gonna swap out the ZV4 um, and go with a NSV3, or I don't know. The NSV4s might be out, but I, I don't know. But either way, um, I'll probably go with with the NSV3. Uh, custom built SBL Spiders, uh, SBL so um, yeah, dust cap um, for soft parts and stuff. And uh, I'll swap this EV4 out with that. He can, uh, which really ain't bad, dude, because a uh, regular B stock NSV3 on downward style shops like 800 and some change. He could build me a custom one for 750 bucks plus shipping. So that should. I, I don't I don't know if I'm going to wind up upgrading my amp too because I might switch out to a twisted 5k to push more power because of course that uh, NSV3 I think they're 2500 watts RMS of course we all know they can handle 5 5k easy uh, but we'll see we'll see I don't know I might just maybe when I get my my electrical upgraded I can get close to that 4k that 4k with the box rise and all that crazy shit um, so I can't wait till next year because that'll be my upgrade for the sub and then I'll, I'll be good for the truck you know as far as the build wise with the sub once I get that custom build NS V3 nightshade it should should be crazy it's already crazy now like I said man um, we got a show coming up next week down in North Carolina I'm still deciding whether or not maybe if I should go to one in Blacksburg, that's a bigger show in Blacksburg, Virginia. But also, that's like a five hour drive. And I don't know if I really trust old uh, this old truck to drive uh, 10 hours total. I, I don't know. Like I said, I've been talking to some people online through Facebook, and uh, it'd be nice to really get out there and get talking to some, some fellow base heads because, like I said, where I live as a real rural. I'm really kind of like the only one that's like serious about this right now. I'm, I'm trying to pique the interest to get more people into it. But um, I just need to get out there, get some, uh, I'd love to shoot some more uh, some more demo videos for you guys. Like I said, I mean, there, there's only like so many people that are really interested. I mean, like I said, I, I try to pull out to the parking lot there and try to, you know, you know just, just sit there for like half hour, 45 minutes, you know, see if somebody interested come up you know check it out uh so like i said I really need to get out to the shows and uh kind of see what this is all about and you know pick people's brains because i mean I, I ain't claiming that i'm an expert dude i mean my last stereo system i had was like back in 2007 dude i had uh four mtx thunder 8000s uh and a sealed box and a 92 lincoln town car on a power acoustic 1600 and i mean it was loud but it ain't as loud as this 112 is so um there's always there's always more stuff to learn man i mean I, I, people who claim that they know it all is bullshit because there's always something to learn every day you should be able to learn something new every day um i don't have the local resources to do like i mean there's no place to get my truck metered i mean i don't even know what I mean, I'd say at least I'm in the 140s. I, I mean, I'd hope so. Jesus, man, I got four grand in this damn thing. I hope I'm doing 140s. Hell, there's, I've seen this one video. Dude's got like 118 doing a 160 dBs. What the hell? So, um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I said, it's kind of kind of situation where I'm at. You know, Team Dark Side. I am Team Dark Side so far. Like I said, I got a couple people interested in, you know, wanting to, come on board just they got to build their systems and you know hopefully we can kind of meet up at a place and kind of just shoot the shit and hopefully get people interested and give them demos and get them boys hooked uh, so anyway well back to the back to the jamming and then uh about to head on home man i'll holler at your boys later 
face. Oh yeah, <clears throat> I forgot something. I forgot that uh, to show you this too, because they had drilled a hole in my floor to run the power wires up. Well, the one in the factory hole, but they forgot to fill in the hole when they drilled it. So it was just bare wires wrapped in the just a tape, and uh, yeah. So looks like they sealed it up pretty good. So yeah, I forgot that. I forgot to show you guys that on the last video I was sitting there like oh shit I forgot all about the forgot all about the hole in the floor the wires coming in and going in that they didn't <laughs> that they overlooked so yeah alright man so I'll let you later